welcome to another ASMR Quantum Human Design session. Today's energy work will be themed on the full moon in gate 59, the gate of sustainability in quantum human design. I just want to remind you that these sessions are timeless. As time and energy are fluid, we all have all of the chart and any element that we're focusing on in the chart, you experience at some point, at some time, in some way, regardless if it's defined or not. So whenever you come across this session, regardless of season or cycle, it will still be applicable. Blossom, Coastal Sunset, and Palo Santo, Crackly Candle for today. Full moons are the peak of the lunar cycle, where the light of the sun fully illuminates the moon, bringing an energy of closure culmination, and release. Full moon energy is an invitation to us all to explore what we need to let go of, what is no longer serving and therefore what we need to relinquish, what we need to clear out, so that way we can stay aligned with our truth, with our intentions, with our best and highest. We'll be focusing on this full moon in the gate 59, the gate of sustainability in quantum human design, and the gate of sexuality in traditional human design. It is in the astrological sign of Virgo and it's located in the sacral center or the evolution center in quantum human design. Right here. And biologically, it's associated with the ovaries and the testes. 
So this is where we'll be working today. Parker's evolution guide for our moon sessions and in addition to the moon transits this evolution guide also has the weekly sun transits as well as mercury retrogrades so you can track your experience with the energy of the week by writing right in this guide or a journal in your natal quantum human design chart, the moon represents what drives you. But when we have a full moon activating a gate, this energy is experienced by all of us regardless of what is in our natal chart. We're all experiencing the theme of this energy due to the transit. A full moon ritual that I always love to do is to take the intentions that I write down on the new moon and put them in a fire or light them on fire in a bowl to release what I've written to the ethers. Into the universe's hands as a symbolism of believing the universe knows just what I need and I trust in divine timing and divine guidance in my unfolding story. So I'm going to leave some space for you at the end of today's session to do your own full moon ritual. And that can look like actually going outside and burning your new moon intentions in a fire or walking through those same steps of releasing and letting go in your mind's eye. So let's get started by reading what Karen has written about this full moon in Gate 59 from the Evolution Guide. This full moon continues the theme of our new moon earlier this month. We are contemplating our commitments, our connection, the degree of intimacy we are experiencing, and letting go of patterns, cycles, and even partnerships that are unsustainable. We are also thinking about what we need to shift and change in order to be better partners and better providers to our loved ones, along with how we sustain ourselves so that we can build a better future. We are in a season of planting seeds that will eventually grow and yield what we want. We might not be able to see what we're planting, but 
our faith and our imagination are essential to building the template for what we want. In the shadow of this energy, we feel lacking in some way. We're depleted and exhausted. This energy can lead to projection and even fighting if we don't have the energy to care for ourselves or for others. Gate 59 is one of the places where the potential energy for fighting and war live in the chart. Tread gently. Care for yourself so that you can sustain yourself and others. Ask clearly for what you want and need. And be prepared for everyone to feel a little needy right now. Okay, love. We're going to take our selenite wand. And start purifying, clearing, and cleansing any blockages in your aura of all negativity, allowing your energy to move and flow freely. muting the voice that plays on loop, telling you that life is a battle and you have to fight or struggle to survive. sense of lack and therefore make decisions and choices based out of those lies and fears that are not actually aligned with you or in your best interest or that are actually sustainable. Selenite and stills deep peace and is known for its strength an ability to reach higher vibrations. So we're going to anchor that in for you today. The energy of the selenite is helping you to find faith in yourself, connecting you to a higher awareness of possibilities and perspectives. It's lifting soothing and calming your mind, connecting you with a greater sense of your purpose and your place here in the world, allowing peace, calm, and clarity to trickle into Calming, soothing, nurturing, clearing away the static and noise to connect you with subtle whispers of your intuition and the wisdom that lies at the center of your being. Our sacral is the center of our life force and workforce energy. So any gate in the center 
not only has its own archetypal theme, but they were all in relation to work and relationships as well. So, if your sacral is open or undefined, you will have the wisdom and the strength to know when enough is enough. and not to push past your limits. You can take the rest that you need without fear. The truth is, when you honor your need for rest and prioritize your well-being, you will have more than you need. you will be able to actually come back and accomplish more by resting than if you ignored that need and the signals your body is trying to tell you if you just try to push and force and will your way through. And if your sacral is defined, where anchoring in the reminder that you need rest too. Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Doesn't mean it always has to be you. You can burn out too. So listen to your body. Be aware of its signals. Honor its needs. Work with what you have available to you. And it will get you farther. Well beyond where you ever thought you could go. Really good. really good. Mm. Okay, we're gonna now bring in this beautiful piece of ocean jasper to balance and ground you on every level. Ocean jasper balances the yin and the yang energy of your body and it brings all internal systems into a harmonic balance replenishing any depleted energy while releasing excess energy soothing your mind emotions, spirit and physical body bringing you back to center. Back to center. Back to center. Center, center, center. We are grounding and stabilizing your internal energy. You are being energetically plugged into Mother Earth so you can discharge any remaining static, noise, intense, or overwhelming emotions and energies. Releasing them now. Letting them go now. Back into the Earth. Return to the source of its origin. Transmuted completely. And in exchange, you are being infused and filled with clear, vibrant energy from the cosmic forces on your behalf. 
here for your highest good and your highest timeline. We're sealing and smoothing in the truth. Abundance is your birthright. The right resources will become available to you and you no longer need to make rash decisions from a place of fear or scarcity. But you get to stand in your worth and your value and make abundant choices in your relationships. You only make commitments that are honoring to your energetic resources, your vitality, your sustainability. What's best for you is ultimately what will be best for others as well. You are able to collaborate with others and share what you have and will receive in a sustainable way. You are wise and discerning about which relationships to nurture and which commitments to keep. You are strong enough to let go of the ones that are draining and depleting and chipping away at the foundation of sustainability you're building. We are sealing in and anchoring your trust in sufficiency and your ability to tap into your inherent abundance to not only create the resources and make decisions that will sustain you but that you will also find great fulfillment and sharing from your overflow We rise together in accelerated harmony. I'll be sure to post a few contemplations from the Evolution Guide with this session for you. If you would like to contemplate or journal your responses. So next, love, we're going to take our relax, 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 essential oil blend. And we're going to press in and seal some affirmations. Okay? This is a blend of lavender, green mandarin, sweet marjoram, patchouli, and Roman chamomile. We're going to press and seal these affirmations into this newly cleansed and cleared space that we've just created. You are open and ready to receive and embody these words. So you can repeat them after me in a soft whisper or repeat them after me in your mind. Of keeping myself sustainable. 
I am discerning about what and who I commit to. capable of creating abundant resources sustainably. The more I have, the more I can share, and the more fulfilled I feel. my energy wisely. I listen to the signals and honor the signs my body gives me. I rest when I need to, even if that means turning down invitations. to force or push with energy I don't have. I release the fears and lies of a lack mentality and trust in source for my sufficiency because abundance is my birthright. As we wind down our session, love, I'm going to share the cards, the messages that came through for this session. The first one from our Moonology Oracle is Emotions Are Running High. Emotions are running high. And I wanted to read to you the message from the booklet on this one, Super Moon. One ten. It says, This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day, so take action. Success is close. I just must trust. So that was the first message. And then from our angel number oracle, what came through was 999. Completion. So I want to read what it says in this card, but maybe 
Maybe you've come to the end of a cycle, the end of a season. It could be in relation to relationships, a relationship, work, something has come to a completion. And this card says, You have reached the finish line of your goal with a world of untapped possibilities waiting to be explored. Take a moment to reflect on the distance you have traveled and the invaluable lessons you've learned. Your perseverance and determination have brought you this far, and there is much to be proud of. So maybe you've been seeing 999, or if you start seeing 999, you can think of this as confirmation that whatever that thing is has run its course come to a close is now complete and it can be released with this full moon we need to let things go in order to make room for the new to come in we need to create space in order to let in something new and last but not least there's actually two cards that popped out from our magic moon messages. Here are the images, which honestly go so beautifully together. The first one says, my words and actions are of beauty, compassion, and love. My words and actions are of beauty, compassion, and love. And the second one says, life is conspiring for me. Life is conspiring for me. Okay, love. You are all set to either continue on with your day or sink into a deep sleep to wake up tomorrow renewed, refreshed, and renowned. Thank you for being here with me. I look forward to our next session together. May you remember, you are loved, you are light, you are love. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. I know how you serve in truth. You are free, you are free, you are free. I am you, you are me, we are one. <laughs>